Chelsea co-owner Todd Bowley lost one of the world's brightest talents this summer. Chelsea may have increased their spending to more than £1 billion under Todd Bowley and Clear Lake Capital, but they may regret losing club Brugge star Antonio News, according to a new study. The Blues squad has been completely revamped in 12 months with 26 permanent signings. The 27-year-old has been eyeing deadline day this summer as Bowley targets a late move for Noosa. But the teenager did not want to move on at this stage of his career, choosing to stay in Belgium. He said, and quote, I already knew that this would not happen, but then the money came on the table. Then it is seen a little differently. When the money arrived, we still had to have a conversation, but we were on the same page, so there was no problem there. But I knew what to do, so it was great. End quote. Noosa broke out last year with Club Brugge, becoming the youngest ever Champions League goalscorer at the age of 17 years and 149 days. And the forward has already earned a call-up to Norway's senior squad. He scored his international debut against Jordan Noosa in July and may still be relatively unknown to many Chelsea fans as he was unable to watch the game. But Bowley clearly saw something special in the winger, and new data published by the CIES Football Observatory confirms that. The survey looks at the best young players in world football, and Noosa comes out on top by some margin. Arguably, no player under the age of 23 averages more shots per 90 minutes than Noosa, who averages nearly 11 shots per game. By comparison, Arsenal star Gabriel Martinelli on the same list does not average half the amount. News and hashtag 039, S and hashtag 039, index and hashtag 039, the scores are off the charts even compared to others, a combination of successful dribbles and the level of opponents. Raheem Sterling has revealed he is ready to follow in the footsteps of Chelsea hero Eden Hazard and leave if he no longer enjoys football. The former Chelsea and Real Madrid star has been without a club this season after his contract at the Santiago Bernabeu was terminated a year earlier. Despite reportedly receiving up to six contract offers following his departure, Hazard has decided to hang up his boots. In heartfelt statements on his official Instagram account, the Blues legend paid tribute to great managers, coaches, and teammates in number 039. He worked through his career and planned to enjoy his free time with loved ones and number 039. Together, Hazard later admitted in an interview with Spanish publication Marca that he fell in love with the beautiful game at Real Madrid last season. The former Belgium international said, It's never an easy decision to make, but I wouldn't say it was difficult. End quote. I've thought about it a lot. I got support from people who know me and know that I really want to do something else in my life outside of football. The last season was difficult, and when I left the national team, everything was already clear to me. I no longer enjoyed training, and the less I played, the harder it became. I wouldn't play anywhere for money. I'm 32 years old, and I have a whole life ahead of me to enjoy outside the playground. End quote. Speaking to Sky Sports ahead of Chelsea's clash with Tottenham on Monday night, Sterling sympathized with Hazard and revealed he would do the same if he no longer enjoyed professional football. The 28-year-old winger said, and I'm like Hazard too. Jamie Carragher has warned Chelsea that Christopher Nkunku needs time to adapt and prove himself in England before he can be seen as the answer to Mauricio Pochettino's goalkeeping woes. The Blues scored just 13 league goals in 10 games against Tottenham on Monday and struggled to create chances again. This has been a constant problem for the club in recent years apart from Tammy Abraham who won in 2019-2020. No striker has more than 15 goals in a season and Diego Costa remains the last man to score 20 goals in a season. However, this deadline was allowed to change with the signing of Nkunku from RB Leipzig. The 25-year-old has been one of the hottest players in Europe since 2020, scoring 35 goals in the 2021-22 campaign. He backed that up with 16 goals in Germany last year despite being out for over three months with injury. The woes facing Chelsea have spanned the tenures of Antonio Conte, Maurizio Sarri, Frank Lampard, Thomas Tuchel, and Graham Potter and are already affecting Pochettino after a dismal start for Nicholas Jackson and number 039. The current first choice has scored just two goals in his first nine league games against Weaker Luton and Burnley. Nkunku was expected to come straight to the club to be an instant upgrade and game changer for the Blues, but he is yet to make his competitive debut after being ruled out for around four months in preseason. 
The French forward took a huge knock in the final game of the American Tour and is finally coming into his first appearance. However, Carriker urged caution about what to expect from Kunku with injury and time to get up to speed before he becomes a true match day player. Analyzing the selections of Premier League teams for center forwards, Jackson and Kunku were at the bottom of the table with only two goals. Only Manchester United's Rasmus Hodgland kept a clean sheet among the selected teams, he said, and quote, Christopher. Nkunku, there is no doubt about his quality, but the head is still unproven in the Premier League. Moises Caicedo was all smiles at Tottenham Hotspur after Chelsea's dramatic 4 1 win over the Lilywhites. The 22 year old midfielder played a crucial role for the Blues on Monday night as Mauricio Pochettino ended Ange Postecoglou No. 039's unbeaten Premier League campaign. Tottenham have now lost their lead, and Manchester City are once again leading the league. Chelsea, meanwhile, have climbed back to the top of the table and are now just three points off a European qualification spot. After the game, Caicedo tagged the West Londoners number 039, victorious with a celebratory post on Instagram. The Ecuador International posted six pictures, three of which featured Spurs players on the floor behind him and wrote, and quote, vamos dot and quote. Unsurprisingly, Chelsea fans loved the midfielder's post and also enjoyed mocking Tottenham in the comments. Reese James, Enzo Fernandez, and Robert Sanchez also showed their support for Caicedo with various messages of support. Speaking after the match, Pochettino praised his players for remaining disciplined amid the chaos in North London. Caicedo was a mainstay in Chelsea's side, directing play and protecting the back line from Tottenham's attacks. The Blues boss said, and quote, we are building something there, but we need time and take the lead against a team that was full of confidence and then let go because we started the game very badly, very carelessly, and we cannot connect. We were very nervous and then like the game. Team reacted. And quote, obviously they deserve all the credit to the players and the team and I think we were calm after that because we start to create chances and force them into mistakes and then we get a goal and I think after we had control. The Chelsea-Tottenham match was difficult to understand. It was an overall victory, but it did not come easily, and the background was a long wait for VAR. Contrary to what many expected, the Spurs and two red cards were far from killing the contest as Guglielmo Vicario put in an excellent performance for the home side and goalkeeper, while Chelsea were not polished enough to keep out of danger. Fortunately, Nicholas Jackson's late hat-trick meant it wasn't too tense an end to the game, although there would have been a few gray hairs in the Chelsea dugout if Eric Dyeran's goal had gone through. Football.London looks below at the talking points emerging from Chelsea's win over their rivals in London. There were moments at Tottenham Hotspur Stadium where it seemed everyone had come to wait and watch VAR rather than intense London. Derby more than 20 minutes were added to stoppages, most of which resulted from decisions under review. The first half in particular seemed dominated by the influence of Stockley Park in number 039 and lacked at times when Tottenham and hashtag 039's intense start was cut short. First, Destiny Udigi's two-footed dive, which was similar in many ways to Malo Gustin's challenge against Aston Villa, was reviewed before further action was taken, although he did not quite hit Raheem Sterling. Chelsea then saw a goal disallowed, albeit rightly so, as Sterling handled the ball before it eventually found its way into the net. However, when it was reviewed, Levi Colwell and Christian Romero were lying on the floor at opposite ends of the court, and the final shot was not reviewed at all. Then came a break that seemed to last longer than the first half's 45 minutes, but lasted at least seven minutes after Moises Caicedo found the net from outside the box. Jackson probably affected the goalie and line of sight while standing. Two challenges were assessed before that point when Sterling was adjudged not to have made a tackle, before Romero went after Enzo Fernandez and was shown a red card. A long wait with a lively crowd did not stop Cole Palmer dispatching his penalty with cool ease before covering his lips with a finger to anger the fans behind the goal, who were already angered by VAR.